Kia Road to Excellence, brought to you by the 2016 Kia Sorento. For more details, visit kia.ca slash sorento today. From Richmond Hill, Ontario, Taylor Pendrith. My first thoughts about Taylor were that I'm, I'm sorry for that golf ball that just got hit. And I, I've never seen the ball take off and, and stay in the air that long. I've, I've never seen it. And it hits it over 320 or 330 yards every time. It's, it's crazy. And just put my bag down 40 yards behind him in the fairway and just dream about being up there with him. As anybody can attest, golf is a hard game. It requires patience, precision, and perseverance. But you wouldn't know it from watching Taylor Pendrith, who makes crushing the ball over 350 yards look easy. The Long Bomber's power is mind-boggling, and he's always out driving his opponents and preying on courses that suit his eye. Hit 396 at the Canadian Open last year on 18. Uh, that's probably the longest one in a tournament that's been recorded but um, I've hit a couple over 400 for sure. I've hit them before downwind and firm, but in the, yeah, in the tournament, that was 396. But yeah, I don't know, it's just natural, but it's definitely an advantage out here, and uh, it's a gift. It's an impressive weapon for a rising star who didn't take up the game until he was 13. He spent most of his childhood playing baseball instead, clubbing home runs and tossing fastballs. He was an athlete oozing with potential. But at 15, he gave up his first love and began entering golf tournaments, securing an NCAA scholarship to Kent State University just two years later. It was a critical turning point for his developing game. Taylor didn't have the record in, in Ontario or Canada. Nobody recruited him. And I was tipped by somebody up there, one of my many sources, and the first time I saw him, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't teach that. He kills it. When I first got there, um, I only had one shot and was hitting these big draw hooks. Um, so they really taught me how to, to play more under control. And it's not all about how far you can hit it. It's you gotta hit it straight, hit fairways. Um, and my short game's really improved since then. Chipping and putting, I mean, putting, I've learned in the last two years that you gotta be a really good putter to compete and uh, also keep it in play. So they really helped me with that and uh, just kinda toned me down to, not necessarily hit it shorter, but hit it straighter. And if you have to give up 10 yards, it doesn't really matter because you're already further than the average guy. So it's, um, yeah, no, I've learned to manage the golf course a little bit better and not try to overpower it all the time. But I'm an aggressive player, so I like to do that most of the time. After learning when to rein in his aggressiveness, Pendrith's game blossomed. He joined Canada's national team and posted high finishes in several marquee amateur events including a victory at the 2013 Porter Cup. That title put his name on the same trophy as Hall of Famers such as Phil Mickelson and Ben Crenshaw. You know, at first it didn't, I mean, it didn't really sink in. I remember reading the uh, booklet that they gave us and seeing all these past winners and like, wow, this event's pretty, uh, some, some big, big names have won this event. Uh, it's pretty neat to just be playing in it. Having already teed it up in two RBC Canadian Opens, Penrith continues to make his way up the ranks, advancing to the Web.com Tour after a stellar season on the Mackenzie Tour PJ Tour Canada in 2015. He finished second three times there, utilizing his length, which is comparable to golf's longest hitters. Put it this way, if he was on the PGA Tour right now, he would be in the top five in driving distance, for sure. The leaders in that category often include the likes of Dustin Johnson, Bubba Watson, and Gary Woodland who Penrith admits are members of his dream foursome. But with the way he already hits it, perhaps it won't stay a dream much longer.